Timmy Joe reviews anything. Reviewing computer parts on YouTube. That's Woo! You gotta be pumped on that, right? Well, computer parts! Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, hi there, my name's Timmy Joe. I'm out here in the garage. I make videos about computers on the internet. It's freaking Canadian winter, and it's been very cold the last few nights, like minus 20 degrees Celsius. That is even colder than that. That is cold. I can see my breath in here. I brought the water cooling, uh, you know, uh, 7740X out into the very echoey garage. I apologize for the sound quality. Uh, it's minus, uh, well, five in here right now. That's mostly because um, the garage is insulated, the door's been closed, but it's minus 21 outside, see? Yep, definitely minus 20. Minus, feels like minus 21 and, uh, you know, clear. That is insane cold. So, my idea here is we're, you know, sitting at anywhere between 14 degrees Celsius ambient and 25 on the 7740X. With the water cooling setup and the GTX 1070, I'm going to uh, open up. Here, let's do it. <laughs> open up the garage door and we're going to let it get really freaking cold. But once, you know, it's minus 15 in here or, you know, this thing's reading that. I mean, I'm going to try and overclock it as high as it'll go in, you know, minus 20. And this temperature, like sub-zero temperature, really affect your overclock that much. I've put computers in freezers before, but that's just under, you know, zero. Uh, you can check those videos out, one here and probably one at the end of the video, where I overclocked uh, uh, 8350, I uh, overclocked my Ryzen computer in a freezer and got pretty decent results. I know this computer will go to 5.4 gigahertz, uh, you know, just with this setup and run, I can get it to run a Cinebench run. Uh, at that so I'm thinking this holy Jesus cold this cold will uh, introduce a ridiculous uh, overclocking factor six gigahertz <laughs> no nah, I doubt it so I'm gonna go ahead here that's probably a better idea with the door open I'll come out here and periodically check and when this is zero we'll restart the computer and do some testing so I better get a coat on and I'll see you in a, in a few minutes. All right, it has been a, about an hour and we're at about as cold as the computer will get uh, on its own, I'm pretty sure. This uh, thermometer will show, um, yeah, we're at um, pretty much zero Fahrenheit or just to see hair off from it. And my goodness, uh, this will not go lower, but we see here, um, you know, I, I opened this up a little while ago. We're not, you know, let's just run it. Uh, package temperature not going above 30 degrees. Not going over 30 degrees right now. It's so cold. 5.2 gigahertz. Uh, that's what I run the computer at all the time. It's happy to do that, so no problems. I will now attempt to overclock. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try for 5.6 gigahertz. Right off the bat, right off the hop. I won't be able to stand it out here for very much longer because once again, it's, oh my goodness, it's, it's so cold. It's minus 20 something. The temperature never went above 31 degrees. Five, six. I need to go really stupid with the voltage here. These boot. Yes! 5.6 gigahertz. <laughs> oh, Christmas is not pleasant out here. All right. We're only at 40, 50, 50 on the package. Holy shit, this is gonna work. 5.6 gigahertz. <laughs> 50 degrees on the package, man. That is so cool. 
while running Cinebench. Holy. All right. 1200, 1200, 1210 points, bitch. <laughs> that is so awesome. My camera is so cold. All right, that's what we're off to a good start. 5.6 gigahertz, <laughs> and we're not even hitting 80 degrees on the package. And I, oh man, it's cold out here. All right, let's try, let's just straight up try 5.7. Go for the gusto, right? Load line calibration set to max. I don't know. When you start doing extreme overclocking like this, like what else should you be putting up in the BIOS? I guess we should have researched it. It's windows, windows. No. So I've been out here freezing my butt off trying to get more than 5.6 gigahertz without me figuring out specific settings in the motherboard, uh, you know, voltages and what to increase. My glasses are fogged up. Uh, it's just not going to be possible. Uh, but 5.6 gigahertz, that is insane. 5.6 gigahertz, 1200 and something Cinebench score you saw. So now we're going to do the GPU while I can still feel my toes. Now we are currently, uh, this, this uh, 1070 overclocked to the nines. It's currently at 2138 megahertz, uh, sitting at seven degrees Celsius. And now I'm gonna see if I can overclock the GPU, you know, just to have some fun. Uh, you know, this seems to be stable enough. Uh, just a little teensy bit further. Oh, does that kill it? It doesn't. We're at 2.2 gigahertz on the 1070, no freaking problem. Let's see, what kind of score can we get? What kind of score can we get on a 1070 in the gold? Work, work, work. Not a good sign. All right, what's wrong? Yeah, something's wrong. And the computer just reset itself. One eternity later. Oh my god, I finally got it running. Oh, I'm falling all over the place. Okay, what happened? I couldn't get anything to run. Uh, I was like really worried I broke something. But the problem was uh, I couldn't get Firestrike to load while the GPU was at negative uh, degrees. Like it was below zero and they, it was throwing the computer through a loop. But I got uh, Heaven Benchmark open and was able to get the GPU working again properly once I got the temperature on the GPU above zero. And I tricked Firestrike into working at 5.5 gigahertz, 2.2 gigahertz on the core on the uh, GPU core on the 1070 by having heaven open while I launched fire strike and closing heaven benchmark right at the end So we're at 5.5 gigahertz on the 7740x uh, 3200 megahertz memory. I didn't mess with that at all. It's running uh, It looks like it'll complete the benchmark and Let's see what kind of score we get on a, a computer. That's really not anything special 16,000 Oh man, I don't even know what that means. Oh, I've done better than that before, 17,000. So something is wrong, something is askew. Ha! So, what's the conclusion? 2.2 gigahertz, well, it gets up there. It's actually starting to heat up in here a little bit now that it closes, oh see, 2190, see? Close, 5.6 gigahertz on the CPU core. Uh, with, you know, the ability to run Cinebench, Firestrike, uh, I got over a 1200 score on a, a Core i7 on a, you know, a Cinebench score, uh, 5.6 gigahertz. That's crazy. But this is the stupidest thing to do uh, through $4,000 computer, roughly, uh, outside of the cold. Uh, it see it's crashed. It crashed again. We're just going to turn it off, you know? Uh, so is this a still, this is a really silly idea. And I was thinking that, you know, maybe I'd do it when it was minus 40 cause it gets minus 40 out here in Canada. Bad idea. 
This will probably be the only testing I do like this because number one, I didn't get really that great of results. Number two, the numbers were high, but not sustainable. Number three, if I ever did it again, doing it with water cooling is fucking stupid, really stupid idea. Uh, I have no idea when I bring this in what it's going to do because I can't, I don't have a transition like the garage, I close the door, it's getting a little warmer in here. But if I just bring it right in the house, it's just going to get warm really quick and stuff might crack, stuff might break, I don't know. So I have that to think about. I'll let you know if anything happens. But in the end, it was rather fun to achieve 5.6 gigahertz on the core of my 7740X delitted with a water cooling setup at minus something, you know, it's like running at 20 degrees while I was doing the Cinebench run. And then, uh, you know, 1.5 volts, 1.5, 1 volts, uh, then, you know, getting over 2.2 gigahertz on the 1070 for a little bit. That was pretty cool. Uh, but you run fire strike, your score's lower at those really high rates because there's just too much inconsistencies. Uh, I got a 16,000 in Fire Strike when I've achieved 17,000 before, you know, w with this running in ambient temperatures, just with this really cool setup. So I'm going in the house, I'm fucking freezing. I hope you enjoy coming along with this stupid journey and let me screw up my hardware instead of you. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll let you know in another video if my water cooling rig, my $4,000 computer, just cracks and explodes all over the place, or if maybe it just doesn't post the next time I turn it on inside. So, see you guys in another video. Watch these other videos that are gonna pop up of when I put computers in freezers, because apparently I've, I'm always idiotic. So let me be the idiot, not you. <gasps> Pew!